Praise the Lord. Greetings to you in Jesus name. So excited to bring God's word to you. And I'm here to tell you that God is able to do more than what you can ask or think today. And this is God's word. This is not a man preaching to you. This is God himself speaking to you. And I want to tell you today that you are what God says you are and you can do everything that God's word has promised for you. So let's turn to the word of God today. Turn with me to the book of Ephesians chapter 3 verse 8 onwards. To me, the very least of all saints, this grace was given to preach to the Gentiles the unfathomable riches of Christ. The NKJV says the unsearchable riches of Christ and to bring to light what is the administration of the mystery which for ages has been hidden in God who created all things so that the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known through the church to the rulers and the authorities in the heavenly places and this was in accordance with the eternal purpose which he carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord in whom we have boldness and confident access through him in faith Beloved, I'm here to tell you that through faith you have access to everything that God has planned for you and His church. And the Bible says in verse 10 that the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known through the church to the rulers and the authorities in heavenly places. Through His church, through His body, God has planned to show the rulers and the authorities and the principalities in heavenly places who you are and what you carry but verse 12 says the key to it is faith it says in him we have boldness and confident access through faith and today I want to talk to you about this key this key called faith which gives you boldness and access to everything that God has promised for you as you go further in verse 17 in Ephesians chapter 3, the Bible says, So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. So whatever it is, whatever is going to be birthed in your life, it is going to be through faith. And that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and the height and the depth. And to know the love of Christ which surpasses knowledge that you may be filled up to all the fullness of God and to him who is able to do far more abundantly beyond all that we may ask or think according to the power that works within us. So when you activate your faith God is able to do more than what you can ask more than what your mind can imagine or think. And I want to tell you today that faith is the opposite of fear. Faith is the opposite of every negative thought that is ruling your mind. And I want you to turn with me to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, which gives us the definition of faith. And the Bible says, faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction. Another version says, the substance of things not seen the evidence of things not seen so many of you today who are watching us on this channel are getting discouraged because you cannot see what has been promised over your life you cannot see what God spoke to you he will do in your life but tonight I want you to embrace faith because the Bible says faith is the evidence of what you cannot see in your life and I see in my spirit there are some of you who are ready to give up because you don't see things happening in your life the prophecies the word that came to you you don't see it happening but if you can hold on to your faith in Jesus let me tell you that is your evidence that he who promised is able to do what he has promised you my friend and today I want to take you to another word the Bible says in 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7 that we walk by faith and not by sight so I don't live by what I see, I live by what I believe. So wherever you're sitting today, I want you to confess it over your life that I do not walk by my side, but I walk by faith. You know, the world teaches us that seeing is believing. My friend, I want you to know that for a Christian, what he believes is what he will see. 
You don't need to see something to believe it. If you can believe the word of God in your heart, I want you to know that by faith you will see what you're believing today. And I want to take you into the word of God and talk about a man who walked by faith and not by sight. And I see in my spirit many of you who are watching this program from different parts of the world, you are going through the same situation this young man went through. And I'm talking about nobody else but this boy called Joseph. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 37 verse 5 that Joseph had a dream. And the Bible says that he went running to his brothers with his dream. And his dream was that he's going to be a ruler. He's going to be in a place of authority. And he went and shared his heart with his brothers. And instead of pushing him up, what his brothers did was to push him down. The Bible says they threw him into the... As you read further in Genesis chapter 37 verse 5, the Bible shows us that they got angry with him. They got jealous with him and they put him in the pit. Think about it, a man who is supposed to be in the palace is in the pit today. Some of you have promises of a palace over your life, but you're stuck in the pit. I don't know if you've ever gone into a pit, but let me tell you, a pit is a very dark place. A place where you don't want to be. A place where there is no hope. A place where there is no light. A place where you can see no future. But this boy, this man, Joseph, even in that pit, had the faith to believe that the God who promised him the palace will take him out of the pit and take him to the palace that the Lord had promised. Beloved, as you're watching this show, wherever you are, you might be feeling like I'm stuck in the pit. Your marriage might be in trouble your finances might be in trouble your children might have gone away from the Lord and I see some of you are saying that Lord is this not the child you promised that you will use for your kingdom is this not the child you promised that you will bless but I'm here to tell you that no matter how big or how dark or how deep that pit is if you can believe if you can have faith in Jesus the same God who got Joseph out of that pit is going to get you out of that pit and take you to that palace that he has promised but let me tell you what happened when he believed he had faith but the next thing that happened to him Genesis chapter 37 verse 28 the Bible says that the next thing that happened to him was that he was sold as a slave he was sold as a slave. Now again, you have this man who claims to have a dream that he's going to become a ruler. People are going to come and bow before him. And the next thing that happens to him, he becomes a slave. I am pretty sure every time he was working as a slave, the enemy would have taunted him. Where is your dream? What happened to that dream that God showed you? But let me tell you, he still had the faith to believe that the one who called him to be a ruler will turn things around. Today, many of you are going through situations in your life which are exactly opposite to what has been promised over your life. But if you can hold on, I am here to tell you that my Bible says that our God is alive and he turned a slave into a ruler. He took him from the pit to the palace. So no matter what you're going through, hold on to your faith. I love the song that Hannah sang. The Bible says in the book of 1 Samuel that Hannah sang this song. She said that he makes the barren woman abide in the house as a mother of many. Think about it. The Bible says year by year Hannah used to go to the house of God to offer sacrifices along with her husband and the other wife Penina. And every time they would go to offer sacrifices and worship the Lord, the other wife who had children would keep poking Hannah. The Bible uses the word poking. She would keep poking Hannah. And I'm sure she would have said, what is the use that you're believing in God? Why is it that you go into the house of God? Why is it that you're having faith? Nothing good is coming out of your life. 
And that is what many of you are going through today. The enemy is poking you. People are questioning you. What good has come out in your life because of your faith in Jesus? But I'm here to encourage you that if you can persist, if you will decide to not give up on your faith, because your faith is the assurance of the things that you're hoping for. Your faith is that proof, that evidence that says that the Lord who promised is faithful to do what he has promised over you and beloved if you check the Bible if you read history there's nowhere written what was the name or the names of the children that this lady Penina the other wife of Elkanah she gave birth to but the Bible talks about the son of this woman of faith Hannah who did not give up who did not give up on her faith in God in spite of the enemy poking her Today, if you want to make history, you need to have faith. History does not remember the names of the children of Penina, but history remembers the name of that son that Hannah gave birth through her faith in God. If today you're going through a circumstance where you feel like you cannot live without this thing called faith, only through faith you can survive, only through faith this mountain can be moved, I am here to tell you that you're in the right spot in your life because you are about to give birth to something that cannot be given birth to in the natural. What faith can give birth to in your life, natural techniques cannot give birth to. The Bible says in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4 that the just shall live by faith. You know, I often give this example. If your car is designed to run on petrol and you try putting kerosene or diesel in it, it's not going to work. I remember once traveling to a city where I saw an auto rickshaw which was supposed to be running on petrol. But the owner of the auto rickshaw put kerosene in it. And very soon, this auto rickshaw broke down. Today, I want you to know that the Bible says, like a scooter or a car that is designed to run on petrol, can only run on petrol. You are designed to live by faith. Amen. That's the Bible. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4, that says, the just shall live by faith. Amen. Because you are justified by the blood of the Lamb, because you are made righteous, now the only way, my friend, you and I can live is through faith. And the Bible says, let me take you back to Ephesians chapter 3 verse 12. It says, in whom we have boldness and confident access through faith in Him. So through faith today you have boldness. You have confident access to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You can run to Him anytime and say that Lord through my faith in You I have access to everything that heaven has for me. And verse 17 again let me remind you. It says that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and the height and the depth of his love today church my friends our partners watching from different parts of the globe i'm here to tell you that another thing that faith will give birth to in your life is the knowledge of the love of jesus through whatever you're going through today, if there is one thing that you need to calm you down, is to know how much He loves you. Amen. And that's what the Bible says in Ephesians 3, verse 17 and 18, that through faith, you will be able to comprehend with all saints the length and the breadth of His love, the height and the depth of His love. The Lord wants you to know that He loves you. As you put your faith in Him, He's going to release His love over you. And the Bible says, perfect love casts out fear. Fear again is the opposite of faith. If you're struggling with fear in your difficult times, let me tell you, put your faith in God and He will help you comprehend how deep His love is for you, how wonderful His love is for you. And as you understand that the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the one who created the entire universe loves you, let me tell you that fear will not stay in your heart. 
And as that fear gets out of you, faith will start manifesting. In the book of Mark chapter 10, verse 23 says that if you believe in your heart and if you speak to this mountain, this mountain will be moved. Amen. No matter what you're going through, my friend, I want you to believe that your God is able to move that mountain that is standing in front of you. Let me take you again to the most famous book on faith, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 30. And the Bible says over here that by faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they had been encircled for seven days. Amen. The walls of Jericho were one of the strongest structures, one of the most difficult structures that could be pulled down by anybody. But the Bible says because of faith and they had to do nothing. They only had to believe and worship him and lift up their voices and lift up the name of their Lord. And the Bible says by faith, those walls came down. Let me take you further. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 33 that by faith they conquered kingdoms. They performed acts of righteousness, obtained promises and shut the mouth of lions. No matter how the enemy is trying to speak to you, my Bible says that by faith you can shut the mouth of the lions and you can conquer everything that you need to conquer. Verse 34, Hebrews 11, 34. It says that they quenched the power of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, from weakness were made strong, became mighty in war, and put foreign armies to flight. Amen. No matter what you are going through today, let me tell you from the word of God that your faith in Jesus can quench the power of fire. And you can escape every sword that is out there to destroy you. And the Bible says, from weakness they were made strong. You might be in your living room contemplating suicide, thinking that I don't want to live. Some of you are students who are watching this program. You feel like I don't want to continue this course. I just want to leave everything, run away from this world. But let me tell you, if you can put your faith in Jesus, my Bible says that he will turn you from weakness to strength and this is not me speaking this to you this is the Bible and the Word of God says heaven and earth may pass away but his word can never fail no matter what doubt you have in your mind today no matter how unbelief how much unbelief you have in your heart today if you can let go of that and have faith you're gonna be turned from weakness to strength and this is what I love the most, Hebrews 11.35. First part which says that women received back their dead by resurrection. So no matter what is dead in your life today, it could be your business, it could be your marriage, it could be something that you cannot share with anybody through faith you can cause all those things to come back to life. You can call them back into existence. Amen. And I want to remind you of that word one more time. It says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, that you walk by faith and not by sight. So faith is the denial of your sight. Think about this. Every time Joseph was in the pit, he was denying his sight. He was denying what he was seeing and clinging on to what he was believing. Every time he would be mopping the floor, Joseph as a slave or washing the dishes or doing all the dirty work in the house, he was denying his sight. He was denying everything that the world was showing him against his dream that the Lord has placed on his heart. Today, I'm calling you to start denying everything that your sight can show you. Start denying every negative circumstances that are standing against your purpose, that are standing against your promise. Because the Bible tells you today that your calling is to not live by sight, but to live by faith in Jesus. And as your mind, as your heart, as your spirit starts denying every sight around you that is against the purpose and the promise over your life, you will give birth through faith that which God has planned and planted over your life. 
So wherever you're watching us today, you might be going through a time of discouragement. You might be going through a time where you feel like giving up. But I'm here to encourage you in Jesus' mighty name that the same God who lifted Joseph out of that pit will take you to that palace that he's promised you. And I want you to know that my God is a good God. We earlier read in Ephesians chapter 3 how faith can give us a knowledge of His love. Through whatever you're going through, I want you to put your faith in Jesus. And as you put your faith in Him, the Bible says He's able to do more than you can ask or think, more than your mind can imagine, more than what you can comprehend. So wherever you're sitting today, I want you to close your eyes and pray that the Lord will cast out every unbelief, every fear, and He will reveal His purpose and His love to you. I want you to close your eyes as we pray over you right now. Father, tonight in Jesus' mighty name, as a team, we pray for our viewers. And we thank you for your word that has been released to them. We thank you for your word that says that faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Beloved, wherever you're watching today, you don't need any certificate to give you evidence of your miracle that is going to happen. The certificate that you have today is the word of God. And your faith in this word of God will bring about that miracle that you've been waiting for. Father, we pray in Jesus' name that you will birth faith in their hearts. And we thank you for your word that says in the book of Ephesians chapter 3 that through faith you will give them the grace to comprehend the breadth and the depth and the height of your love. Let your love quieten them. Let your love strengthen them. We bless them, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Beloved, the Bible says that He quietens you with His love. As you put your faith in Him, His love will be revealed to you and His love will quieten you. And as some of you are watching the show, you're already feeling quietened in your spirits. And that is because God has given birth to a new level of faith in your life. And Jesus said that if you believe, if you have faith, you will move this mountain and this mountain will go fall into the sea. So no matter what is that mountain that you're facing, wherever you're seated, rise up and put your faith in Jesus and speak to that mountain. And that mountain is going to go and move away so that you can walk into that promise that God has for you. God bless you and may you understand His love for you more and more. And don't remember anything the enemy is trying to remind you today but remember to feed on his word of God because faith comes through hearing the word of God God bless you may he give you more faith and may this faith give birth to everything God has planned over your life God bless you